everybody um apparently there's a whole lot of stuff going on right now in the world um in my friend wilmer dominguez from nt news uh told me that um he wanted me to uh let you guys know what's going on in spain right now barcelona catalonia uh the people are fighting for their liberty uh and independence and um they apparently there's like a whole lot of uh, uh, protesting going on right now and um, and I'm going to show you some videos of what's happening now one of the important things to notice is that um, the uh, the airports are closed in Barcelona so if you had plans to go to Spain don't not right now anyway uh, some of the airports um, well the airports uh, were blocked off by the protesters and um, it would not be a good time to go over there at all um, what else do I want to tell you uh, let me switch this around hold on I'm going to transform this to okay um, anyway um, okay uh, so so let me go ahead and play this for you the uh, there's protesting going on in Barcelona right now and uh, Wilmer asked me to uh, show you guys this that uh, what's going on there now also he sent me another photograph of what was happening a few minutes ago um, this was today in uh, Barcelona okay so there's um, I think they said uh, 15,000 people had gone out to protest. Um, it's really crazy right now. Okay, so the other thing, I'm going to switch to this one. Um, this is, um, I was wondering, what is it that they're protesting or, or what is it they're so angry about? And it turns out, um, see, here's some of the protesting. Uh, 37 were injured, 100 uh, plus flights were canceled uh, as police crash with uh, Catalan pro-independence protesters at Barcelona airport. And there's some videos here. Um, and there's some clashes going on between them. Look at that. They're attacking and beating the people. It's crazy. Everywhere around the world, people are tired. So apparently what happened was there was um, some kind of a verdict that was passed um, where the some um, people in government that had protested against some of the bad stuff that was going on got um, uh, like a 13 or uh, 15 year prison term for for um, uh, protesting. Um, I'm sorry, not for protesting, for trying to fight for the rights of the people. So uh, they're, it's pretty crazy there right now. Okay, now that's one of them. Because he sent me another one that said, this is what's going on right now. Look at, he, he's about to beat a woman with a billy club. Man, it's a scary time over there. So, yeah, they're, they're hitting the crowds. Look, there's women there, and they're just hitting the crowds. It says the airport um, saw fierce fighting between the crowds and angry protesters who heeded the call and the riot police deployed to the scene. Okay, uh, now I'm going to stop that one. And then this, um, this is VillaWeb. He sent me this um, uh, link also. This link is uh, what's happening right now in Barcelona. Again, they're protesting. The police have acted with violence for the first time in the uh, 
is an act of the ANC and Omni, Omnium in Barcelona. They caused very serious incidents uh, uh, with 40,000 people who wanted to encircle the delegation of the Spanish government in Barcelona with a, a strong device of the mozos who prevented them. The protesters tried to break the police cord and then the Moses began to hit the people. This has not prevented Louis Locke's parliaments and actions, but the atmosphere has been tensed by police violence. Uh, there are, um, uh, there has been, uh, there are now uh, light fires and barricades in various points in the city center and the situation is chaotic chaotic and very tense so here's another video this is today you guys this is what's going on so do not try to fly uh, to Barcelona today you will not be able to get in the airport and they've canceled a lot of the flights I heard people were stuck at the airports for hours okay that one Okay, there's another one. Hold on. So there's just a bunch of little brief um, videos of what's going on right now. Um, apparently, they are against um, the... Uh, they had given a, a long... Uh, what do you call it? A long sentence to somebody. Wow. So this is all happening right now in Barcelona. Wow. Crazy. So I'm going to stop that one. I'm going to go to this one. Police are attacking the manifestants. So it's not like in Mexico where the police are just sitting back. You know, AMLO told the policemen not to attack the people. But here, no such luck. They will definitely attack. to move this. This has uh, been happening all day today. But um, it's their night time right now, so um, my friend has to go to work and he couldn't uh, take care of this himself, so he asked me to, to record this for him and put it out there. So I'm letting you know. Oh wow. Wow. Looks like they're gonna run over people. Boy, they're really angry. <laughs> Very angry. Wow. So this is, um, I'm taking excerpts from a, um, a, a news um, uh, called Via Web, so if you want to go look it up yourself, 
called Via Web. And there is the um, link. Okay. I'm going to copy the link and put it to the bottom of the video. Okay. So, um, anyway, that's what's happening right now in Barcelona. And um, they did some very good um, videotaping here. They've got a lot of footage. So it looks like people are just really fed up with the government there. But um, Wilmer uh, um, said he couldn't handle this today because he's um, he's at work. Plus, he'll probably get in trouble if he puts it up or something. <laughs> but um, it's horrible. The people are just really angry. Wow. This is all footage from what's going on right now in Barcelona. after that cop. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Crazy. But um, I understand that they're just very upset. Um, and they and they closed down the airport yesterday. I understand they showed up and and just um, showed up in great uh, force and wouldn't let any of the uh, people in or out of the airport or something like that. So, wow, crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right now. Um, but you know, it just seems like the world right now is so fed up everywhere, everywhere. They don't, they don't want the control that, that, that is happening right now with the government and the way that they're, um, treating the people. And, um, uh, another uprising, so let's hope, let's hope everybody figures it out. <laughs> um, anyway, I was going to look up in here, uh, what's been going on, um, okay, what is going on? Why are they all so angry? Okay, book must be dismissed and Spanish police must go. You must have to overcome the autonomous politicians. Let's set, set, set fly back. Author of Jekylls and Arabs. Okay. It's not just, it's not justice, it's revenge. No justice has been made. The sentence is a sad culmination of an instruction that has not respected the procedure guarantees of the democratic and legal status. Okay, so they are angry at the, what they decided. Topic of the day, sedition. The Spanish Supreme Court has finally issued the sentence that Pedro Sanchez wanted. Sedition is the accusation he made during the trial, um, which, let's see. Anyway, I'm not going to go to the other uh, newspaper. Continue on the street. Do not stand now. Altogether again. Oh, continue on the street. Do not stand now. Altogether against tyranny. The provisional president of the Spanish government appeared at Montoya yesterday, when the contents of the sentence was known, and he did it. He did it to assert. See what they came to say. So anyway, this would be a, a good site to go check out all this stuff if you're curious. Uh, what's happening over there? Uh, being united, mobilize the people. Spanish nationalism. Mm. And you know what? It's funny because um, Wilmer was just saying how peaceful uh, the people are in that area that they would never react. And apparently... They finally just went too far and made them act out. So, wow. So, the disconnection between Spain and Catalonia. The sentence and the elections. Uh, about a little attention was made to the trial process. They consider the most important judgment in the history of the East. Um, okay. Anyway, so there's something happening over there with um, some legal matters that they did not feel uh, were done properly. And so the people are up in arms, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what uh, I found here today and what Mr. Uh, Wilmer Dominguez from NT News uh, wanted us to share today so hopefully um, uh, this
this uh, sheds a little light on the subject if you guys want to go. Um, the website address is uh, villaweb.cat. Okay. All right. So anyway, I'm going to stop here. Um, more videos to follow. Thanks.